It's the last episode of Through the Ages, and I think I've made it a special one. It really needs no introduction, but today we're going to be looking at, according to US Army General George Payton, the greatest battle implement ever devised. For the last episode of Through the Ages, we're going to be taking a look at the M1 Garand. Now, not only will we be discussing the M1 Garand today, but also the children that it spawned since its invention. We've got the M14, the mod enhanced M14, and the M39 to look at. It's crazy to think that a design first produced in the 1930s is still present today and in a very similar setup. It's proof that designer John Garand absolutely hit the nail on the head with this weapon timing, build, and implementation. Today we'll be starting with Bad Company 2, where there are three variants of this gun represented in the game. So let's start with the actual M1 Garand, and its almost statistical identical M14 cousin. The M1 Garand was Bad Company 2's veteran weapon, now I've done a whole video on this not too long ago, that's linked up in the top right hand corner for you now, and it was awarded to players who played a couple of the previous Battlefield titles, and that was to show dedication to the franchise. The Garand is an all kit weapon, you can use it on whatever class you want to, and it features an 8 round magazine, low rate of fire, and a moderate recoil pattern. Compared to its cousin, the M14, it's got a slightly longer reload time incorporating that iconic ping sound, which Bad Company 2 represented very well, and its magazine is two rounds smaller. Its presence, however, is merely enough for me to want to use it every single time over the M14 here. The full wooden body and the firing sound that sounds like a firecracker is just so satisfying that if I ever want to run a semi-auto in Bad Company 2, the M1 Garand is always my pick. It does have slightly clearer iron sights as well over the M14, and that's to make up for the fact that you can't put any attachments on it. I'd consider the Garand the last great offering for veteran players in the Battlefield franchise. Everything else seemingly falls short. If you want to go a little bit more long range with your semi-automatic rifle, then I'd highly recommend the M14 Mod Enhanced over the M1. If you equip Magnum Ammo to it, you'll be taking down players at any range with three bullets. And then if you stick the ACOG on there, you'll have a much better time taking out those long range targets. You can hear the music, it's that time. We're going to Vietnam and we're checking out the original M14 rifle. The M14 in the Vietnam expansion was one of the weapons issued to the Assault class. Now there's no unlocks required in Vietnam, all of the weapons come ready for use, so you can pick whatever one you like and just run with it. It features a fully automatic fire mode and a 20 round magazine for you to lay down the fire with. 22 max damage at close range makes it a 5 shot kill unless you drop a headshot in there. It does have some pretty damning stats beyond that though, with fairly high hit fire spread and the highest recoil of any of the weapons in the class. It's not as nimble as the M16 or the AK-47 rifles, and it's a bit more like a battle rifle. It hits hard and it fires slower than what the other weapons can offer. It needs to be used more in a precise way to get the best out of it. Probably the best thing about it though is the cool skin that DICE gave the weapon in the expansion. The dirty, rusted look of the metal, tied in with the bandages wrapped around the barrel, just looks really, really awesome. Of course, the M1 Garand is also in Bad Company 2 Vietnam. For all intents and purposes, it's exactly the same weapon as the base game. There are a few statistical changes. I think it fires 20 rounds a minute faster than it did in the base game, and it has slightly different recoil 
but it's basically the same weapon. It's time to move on to Battlefield 3 now, where the M14 evolved into the M39 EMR. Here in Battlefield 3, the descendant of the M1 Garand is the M39 EMR. The rifle is designed to be used by the US Marine Corps' elite marksman team. But before you can get your hands on it, you've guessed it, you need to play some of the co-op. Yet again, another example of DICE's methods to get you to play all of the game, which many people didn't care for. You need to gain 58,000 points in the co-op mode to get it in multiplayer, and it was the fourth weapon you could unlock in the co-op with some of your friends. Once you do get your hands on it in the multiplayer, it will give you a lot of benefits over a lot of the other semi-auto marksman rifles. It's got a higher rate of fire, 300 rounds a minute, a higher bullet speed and accuracy than both the SVD and the Mark 11. It's only beaten by the SKS on rate of fire, but for all other stats, it sits pretty high up the board. I will say it's a weapon that I've not really used all that much. I prefer to use the bolt action rifles in Battlefield 3, and overall, the weapon just doesn't feel as special as its predecessors did in previous games, like Bad Company 2. It's mainly because it's actually a weapon that's in use today, rather than being a relic from the past. But ultimately, if you didn't play the co-op section of Battlefield 3, you may have never even used this weapon in the game anyway. You can unlock a special camo for the M39 if you own Battlefield 3 Premium. You need to complete the specialist assignment and you'll get your hands on the Woodland Oak camo. On to Battlefield 4 now, where again we'll be checking out the M39 to see if anything has changed. Here in Battlefield 4, one of the first differences is the addition of 10 rounds to the magazine size compared to Battlefield 3. You're now running with 20 rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber, effectively making it the extended magazine version of the M39 that you could get in Battlefield 3, but only in the co-op mode. As I've said with various other weapons making the jump to Battlefield 4, from Battlefield 3, however, their presence gets diluted among the vast numbers of other weapons that you can use. Battlefield 4 featured eight DMRs. Along with all the other kit weapons, the carbines and the shotguns, this makes the presence of the M39 extremely minute. I don't come across many players in Battlefield 4 using this weapon. One feature of Battlefield 1 is the reduced number of weapons overall, but further depth to the attachment and customization systems. This way, you can build your own weapon setup and make something you're comfortable with, almost a more bespoke system than what you get here in Battlefield 4, where weapon after weapon was simply added to the game to add variety. It's a real shame that the M39 gets lost in the sea of weapons. Considering its origins, it's one of the weapons I'd expect to be highlighted above the rest. So there you are, the M1 Garand and its descendants through the ages of the Battlefield franchise. This will be the last episode of Through the Ages that you'll see here on the channel, at least for the time being anyway. Battlefield 1 offers a completely different raft of weapons, and instead I've been working on another series for a while in the background that will replace this one. I think you're going to really like it. If you want to check back over some of the previous episodes that I've done in Through the Ages, I do have a specific playlist that you can watch I've linked that in the description. I think we're up to about 20 episodes or something like that, which is incredible. And the support you guys have given it all the way through since I started is absolutely fantastic. It's by and far the best series I've ever done, and it's one that every single week I looked forward to making on the weekend. I knew you guys liked it. I really enjoyed making it. And for me, that's just the best thing that I can ask for when it comes to me making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the series. It's been a proper blast making it and your enthusiasm is just bloody awesome. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.